Hi guys, it's your girl. Okay, I am back with a whole new edition of Pillow Talk. But before we get started, there are some rules, yes, that you must follow. First rule is subscribe. Yes, girl, yes, boy, pick your finger up and subscribe. Listen, it doesn't cost you anything. You're not gonna get a notification. They're not gonna charge your credit card. Basically, when you subscribe, you're just showing support to the person that's entertaining you at the moment, and that would be me. So pick your finger up and press subscribe. It does not cost you anything. Just show me some love. Just show me that you love what I'm doing and you want me to continue to do it. So subscribe yes the second rule is i'm gonna give my opinion and i'm sure you're gonna give yours <laughs> in the comments down below so welcome to pillow talk so check this out honey you know listen when we're doing pillow talks we're just talking all things things that i've seen online things that I don't know, that I'm thinking myself and things that you guys are saying to me in the comments down below. Okay, so as you know, I posted a picture on my Instagram of Cynthia Bailey. Yes, for the friendship contract, honey, okay? So um, this is how it all went down. I was invited to an event that Irvin Magic Johnson was having. And obviously Cynthia was and several other girls that were in the room were Candy Burris, uh, Quad was in the room, uh, Portia Husband was in the room. Uh, there were just several others that were in the room, um, you know, socialites out in the Atlanta, Georgia area. So I bumped into a few people. Yeah, I did. So I bumped into Cynthia Bailey. Haven't seen her in a while, but I have bumped into Cynthia in the past, okay? So for some of the people that are coming to like, I haven't seen Cynthia in forever, I've seen Cynthia several times. I saw her at Portia's wedding. So I've seen her, you know, a few times around Atlanta. We, I think this was probably the first time we had like some sort of in-depth conversation. So I see Cynthia, she see me, we make like eye contact and um, I'm like, oh no, honey, let me get you to Together. I heard when you said this and I heard when you said that. Blah, 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 blah. So we did that little thing and we were we were really playing. You know, I don't have that kind of energy right now. Like I am in a different place. So I was just messing with her and of course she was messing with me. And uh, we laughed out loud because when Cynthia and I were friends back then, I actually thought of Cynthia as my sister. And um I enjoyed her company. We talked all the time on the phone. And so it was kind of easy for us to kind of like, you know, I laugh again, I have a drink again. Like I'm really the kind of person, I can't hold a grudge forever. Like I feel like people who can hold a grudge forever, like their insides are different. I would even categorize them as a person with a black heart or something. Like for me, you know, I'm not saying you can't hold a grudge for a year or two years or three years or whatever, but I just can't go on and on and on and on. And like I said, I've seen Cynthia around and we've spoken very, very briefly. And just being very honest with you, I can have a drink with Cynthia, I can laugh with Cynthia, I can take a picture with her if I see her out, but we would never ever be in the place that we were in before. That's not possible. It's just not possible. You would have had to go through this kind of breakup uh, to know that it's just not possible. Is is that possible for us to to get back in that place again? Like I wish her well, and I don't have any ill feelings or anything like that. Um, but we just can never be cool like that again. So anyway, I was going up and down social media, and um, oh my God, they are dragging Jada Pickett, like dragging her. Like she's being drugged through the mud. And I don't know everything. And this is really good. Listen, um, I'm not a Jada Pickett fan. I'm not a Will Smith fan. Meaning I'm not against them and I'm not 
for them. I didn't. I have never followed uh, Jada's career. I've never really followed Will's career. However, I know he's a great actor. We all know that. And I've seen a couple of movies that he's been in, but I, I've never been either one of theirs like biggest fan or something. I I um I never watched um Red Table Talk. Oh, although I've seen clips of it come down social media and stuff like that, but I've never been like a fan of it. You know what I mean? So for me, I'm unbiased in this situation. Um, so I'm reading everything where people are really ripping Jada apart. Let me just tell you what I think. Now, this is just Nene's opinion, and my opinion don't mean anything other than it belongs to Nene. Okay? So I think that Jada is innocent. And you know why I think Jada is innocent? I think because Will is and was a ginormous actor and Jada was his wife. And I don't think that women get in a place where they just don't like their husband like that. I feel like you, you, the husband has done something. I feel like he did something to Jada some years ago, whether it was cheating or she caught him doing something that just turned her off about him and about how she feels about him romantically. Now, I think they're friends and, um, and I think they're family, but I don't think that there's no romantic connection between the two of them not anymore. And I don't think the connection has been there for years. I also think that I don't know where you've been living, but it kind of always looked like they were not together to me. So, I mean, I don't know for sure, but that's how it kind of appears to me. Like they, they're really not together. Um, I think he may have cheated years ago because, and she got really turned off and just did not like his ass anymore. Something he did. And I think the guys are like dragging her like, you're talking about your husband. You know, you're emasculating him. And, and all of these things. And I think that, um, I don't think so. I think that she's really telling her truth. And she's really talking about, you know, how their relationship really kind of went down over the years. In relationships, sometimes people view one as the villain and one as the nice person. Like seriously, in my relationship, I honestly think that people felt like Greg was the good guy and I was the villain. That's exactly how we were viewed. So I kind of feel Jada's pain a little bit. We were really viewed that way. Um, you just couldn't tell people that Greg had done anything. People would not get it if I said Greg cheated this number of times or he did blah, 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 blah. He did this and he did that. People would come up with a reason as to why it was my fault or something that I had done to make Greg do what he did. I would always say to people that Greg was a good man. He wasn't a perfect man, but he was a good man, right? And you have to know the difference, you know what I mean? I knew he was a good man, no matter what kind of mistakes he may have made in our relationship right but i i i i feel like jada is being pegged the villain and will is being the good guy because so many people have watched him as an actor and they love him and they just assume that he's a good person not at the same time not even knowing him they don't know who he is or what he is to be married to they're married and they both have said that divorce was not an option. So that part I cannot agree with because my happiness is an option. And so therefore, if divorce has to take place in order for me to be happy, then let's sign the paperwork, okay? And um, I see where Shannon Sharp, you know, I, li I like Shannon a lot, and, and Chad Ochocinco, I like both of them. I think they have great personalities and they're former athletes and all that kind of stuff. And I saw where they were doing this whole discussion on whether or not you should use the bathroom in the bathroom in the front of your significant other, your spouse, that kind of thing. To the bathroom in front of a woman, I'm not, I don't do that. I don't pass hell no. Listen 
let me tell you what my grandma told me now. The minute she can use the bathroom and leave the door open, that's the one. She can't do that. This that one right here, one. I knew she was the one. When she fought in the front of me, oh, oh yeah. No. That's how I broke up with a girl for doing that. Man, stop playing. You left a girl for that? The bathroom right there. She got to get up and go out the room just to just pass gas. Don't do that. That's disrespectful, man. Stop oh, playing. Let me tell you something. I have always been against that. Always been against that. My husband, Greg, and I, um, we did not have his and hers toilets in our master. And so Greg would actually go down the hall to a guest bedroom to use the bathroom. I'm really against um, just sharing that whole thing. So I kind of feel like you, I know you got to go to the bathroom, right? But you just going on in there. I don't need to know you going in the bathroom. Just go on in the bathroom. You don't have to tell me I'm not coming in there where you are. I don't want to know you're doing anything. I just think that in a relationship, sometimes too much get revealed and then you stop liking the person or you get turned off. Like I'm really that person. I'm the person who I can barely see you brush your teeth. Honestly, I'm glad to know you brushing them, but I don't need to hear you goggling and I don't need to see you doing all these extra things that I think is personal business. You're in the bathroom, do your personal thing, whatever you're doing, I don't need to be a part of it. So for me, I am 100% against using the bathroom like and, and, and your man is walking in there while you're on the toilet. Like that's just too much for me. It is a turn off to me. I don't need to see it. I don't want to see it. And I'm not going to do that. That's just too much. To me, that's like revealing too much. And um, so I'm against the guy coming in the bathroom or the woman walking in the bathroom. That's like revealing way too much. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. So I'm going on down social media. And uh, listen, social media got to be the one of the most entertaining things in the world right now. If you are dating a guy, okay, and he's following a lot of different women that you don't know, and you damn sure don't know how he know them, what is that about? Like, how does that work? Like, should you be okay with that? Uh, should you ask questions? Uh, uh, I, I, I personally am confused as to how that part works. Also, if you're dating a guy, right? Uh, he never posts you, uh, you never post him. Uh, is that okay? I mean, do you feel some kind of way if your guy doesn't post you? Um, even if you guys have agreed to not post each other, um, when you post a cute picture, do you think your guy should like make some emojis under the picture or, you know, some, you know, heart eyes or some fire signs or something like that on social media? I don't know. Dating is really, really interesting to me right now. It's really, really interesting because as all of you guys know, I've never dated before. So, uh, this is really, really, really interesting to me. I'm learning a lot about the dating world. I'm learning a lot about men and how men operate. And so it's quite interesting out here for me. So if you know anything that I need to know, and if you you got any kind of hookups, you need to email me at bookmini at gmail.com because I am really interested in how all this really works and really goes down. Listen, I hope you guys enjoyed Pillow Talk tonight. I have a lot of questions for you guys and I can learn from you and child, maybe you can learn a thing or two from me, okay? Thank you so much for tuning in to Pillow Talk. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like and share with all of your friends and I'll see you at the next Pillow Talk. Bye!